So I have the dual SIM Galaxy S23 and in today's tech tip I'll be showing you how to manage the dual SIM cards in this phone. Now I'll be using the Ultra for this tutorial but these instructions apply across the board for any dual SIM Galaxy S23. Now this one is actually a dual physical SIM card phone. You can actually see my video where I was inserting the dual SIM cards. This one, the SIM tray actually accepts two physical SIM cards. And so if you go into settings and then go to connections and then go to SIM manager, this is where you manage the SIM cards. And as you can see, I have two SIM cards inserted. I have SIM 1 and SIM 2, which are actually uh, physical SIM cards. And also I have an eSIM profile that is actually activated. Now, so in short, that means I have three SIM cards in this phone, uh, two physical SIM cards and one eSIM. Now, for a dual SIM Galaxy S23, you can only have two SIM cards enabled at a time. So as you can see, my SIM 2 has been turned off so that I can use my SIM 1 and my eSIM, which is also eSIM 1. If I add another eSIM profile, that's going to be eSIM 2 by default. Okay, so you can only use two at a go because as you can see, we have two network bars here for this one for the first SIM card and this one for the other SIM card. So for instance, now if I want to enable SIM 2, the physical SIM 2 and tap on enable, it's going to tell me it's going to uh, turn off eSIM 1 as you can see. So if I enable that, it's going to disable the eSIM 1 and enable for me is uh, my physical SIM 2. There you go. So that just confirming that you can only use one of the SIM cards. I mean, two of the SIM cards at the same time. Anyway, so whichever SIM cards you have enabled, you can actually tap on uh, the SIM card itself and then change the icon. And you can also rename the SIM card from the generic default name, which is SIM 1. If I want to give it a name, let's say I want to call it uh, surf i can call it that or i can call it work in case it's my work uh phone number you can tap on that and now it's going to be called work so you can go ahead and rename all the sim cards the way you want also you can disable one of the sim cards when you want in case you just want one of the sim cards to be operational uh, let's say this one is the uh, work sim card and you want to turn it off you can simply turn it off from there and now as you can see here we only have one of the sim cards operational okay and when you want to turn it on you can simply turn it on from there now let's go ahead and turn on the let's go ahead and turn on the eSIM so simply tap on that and then tap on turn on and then you're going to have uh, our eSIM let me just quickly put the pin As simple as that all oh, that turned off my sim 2 as well so let me just turn it back on there you go so that's basically managing the sim card uh, profiles you can see we have you can change the icon in case you want it to look something different maybe you want to have a business trips icon a multimedia home office icon for the sim card let's for instance say you want to have uh, this work sim card have the work icon so simply tap on icon and then go to office tap on that and then hit back hit back and now you can see our icon shows it's actually a work sim card anyway moving down you have preferred sims so you can actually choose the default preferred sim card for making calls the default is eSIM1 but if you tap on this you can choose to have the other sim card which is which which I've now renamed to work or you can choose ask always when you choose ask always anytime you press the call button it's going to give you a menu where you can choose which sim card you want to uh, make calls with you can do the same for uh, messages choose either one of the sim cards to, uh, to to send messages from as a default and also mobile data but also you can enable data switching so data switching basically means if you've set eSIM1 as your mobile data SIM card, 
in case eSIM one is not able to access data, maybe you're in a remote place and only SIM two or the alternative SIM card can access data, it's going to switch automatically so that you're always connected to the internet. So you, to do that, you need to enable uh, data switching. Now for this Galaxy S23 phones, we have more SIM settings and we have something special here called dual SIM always on, which we haven't had in uh, previous, uh, previous Galaxy phones. And this one is basically an option to help you enable both uh, SIM cards on. Now, this is something uh, I want to get in on in a different video. I want to explain this in a different video because this is quite uh, a bit to, to talk about in this particular section. So that's also another option. I'll link the video for this one down in the description below so you can go ahead and watch that. But as far as general SIM card mm -hmm management is concerned on a dual sim galaxy that's that's it thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck